Yeah. Yeah, we out here talking about wrestling because we like wrestling. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's yep. what we do. But um, yeah, Braun Strowman better not take the belt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to hear that. I want to hear that. Let's go, Brandon. It's the elite time. It's the elite right. time right now. You making money, you winning games. We're gonna tell you what to do. But before we do, we gotta hit the college stuff because Brandon is an avid college fan. His team wins all the time. I'm 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 a hater because my team looks <laughs> good on paper, but we never come through. Yo, thank y'all for checking us out on YouTube, Anchor, and Spotify. You listening to us, Facebook, Tommy's running that. Tommy, I hope everything works out. I hope you ain't got no flood and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 360 painting for all the support because all angles are covered with 360 painting locally in Harrisburg, Virginia. Still having faith in my commanders, especially after we smacked Giants next week. And then <laughs> love for the Black Mamba and all the love for my mama because on Relatives of Sports Talk, we talk about sports from Hall of Famers to local talent to the big time storylines. And like I said last episode, the big time storylines next week. So uh. the second live episode. And it's gonna be, be big, bigger and better than ever at McAdoo's in Harrisburg, Virginia. Please come out and check us out. Appreciate it, Brandon. You ready to give give them what they want? Let's, let's do it. I'm gonna try, man. I'm gonna try. Yeah. It's a rough week, You've been, you been giving it to it this week. You didn't. I mean, last week. You didn't. Yeah, yeah. But but prior to that, you've been doing it. You've been doing it. Before we jump <laughs> yeah. into that, we're gonna do a little college football just because. Your team is is always in the mix, and I was I was pulling for them because I think that they, they should have been there. But we got yeah. Georgia and Ohio State, Michigan with an injured running back in TCU after they lost their championship game. You cool with that? No, you know I'm not. You're not cool with that. Why is that? It's not the four best teams in the country. It's not the four best teams in the country. No. But I mean, we never know. You never know who the four best teams are. It's all, it's no, all I mean, by humans. Yeah. So why do you think that it's not right? Well, I mean, why don't you do it? It's one thing Coach Saban said here. Yes, well, I was if, say. Who would be favored if we played each other? I'm with you, baby. I am with you because I think Alabama would be favored against everybody except for Georgia. And I think that'd be like a can TCU minus be two. Georgia? Minus two or some shit like that. You know what I mean? It'd be, it'd be something yeah, like that. I mean, um, it's, I mean, you'll see. You'll see. Everybody's going to see. I mean, I know why they didn't put us in. They didn't want to. They didn't want two Big Ten teams, two SEC teams. They even went as far as to move TCU up after a loss because Georgia would probably beat them 70 to nothing. And they didn't want to have Michigan versus Ohio State again. Exactly. And they ain't want Michigan, Ohio State, Georgia, and, uh, you know, Alabama. But I am 100% with you. I think Alabama should have definitely been in there over Ohio State or TCU, <laughs> tell you the truth. Yeah. Tell you the truth. I think they could have beat – they might have beat them all. If I had to pick – I, I, I think, think we could have beat everybody but Georgia, but I think Georgia's the best team. And um, they'll show it. But And I've been arguing with George Teague and his son about that. And I hate Alabama. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But when I look at it, the games they lost was like last second shit. And then the quarter the quarterback wasn't even there for one. So it's like. Yeah. And it was against top teams. It, it wasn't like they were against some scrubs. You know, LSU, right. was, LSU was in the SEC championship game. And Tennessee was right there until they blew their yeah, game. It was number one for a little bit. You know bit what I'm bit. saying? So I'm with you too, man. I'm not going to be an apologist for you because fuck Alabama. They want enough. <laughs> I get but, the setback for the second time ever. But I agree with you. A, and, interest in it, so. and they should have been there. So, but going 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 forward, who do you think wins? Do you think TCU can beat Michigan? No. No chance. Their quarterback's up for the Heisman, right? I, I, how? I don't know. How but, is your quarterback uh, not there? How is he not on the all SEC team? What happened? They just forgot about him? Apparently, his numbers are better than these Heisman candidates. And with who, he has no weapons. So I don't know. Um, you know what I think, dude? Because I look at him, and, and I hate to say it like this, but I look at him like 
the way I was like talking good about Jalen Hurts. I feel like him, the way he's got his his foundation with his family and everything, he's gonna keep working harder, and this is gonna piss him off, and he's gonna yeah. be a better uh, NFL player than CJ or my man from USC. And I think Caleb could be a star, but he thinks he's already better oh, yeah. than Mahomes. He already thinks he's better than him. <laughs> he already thinks he's better yeah. than him, so he needs some humble pie. I think your boy might be the best NFL talent, and I never would have said that probably a month ago. Stroud. I think Stroud's got the benefit of having great weapons. Um, right. I and I think the, the Kentucky quarterback is going to be nice in the NFL, but we'll see. They're picking him to be number one, but I, it's just something about it that just doesn't jump I don't know if I take him me. over. Yeah. It, 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 he doesn't just jump off the chart for me. I don't know. Somebody else that pisses me off. <laughs> prime time. And, I, and nothing against prime yeah, time. I, I met him in person. Got an autograph. Cool dude. He yeah. went to Colorado. Did you see when he addressed the team? I wasn't a fan of it. He I told them to go to the transfer it. portal. I mean, you don't call kids out. Like, it, you show what he, his true colors are. It's about him. It's about him. It's about him. He's about him. And, yeah, he'll get some players. They might win. But some games, that I got to win anything else. But uh, I agree. I agree with you, man. Yeah. What makes me mad is when I bring up the same things you're bringing up, like it's all about him, they'll be like, oh, well, he helped this HBCU school do this and this and this and this and this. Yeah, yeah you put a Band-Aid on the problems. You ain't really fixed nothing. You, you got like really the best recruit in the nation to come there. I mean, yeah. He walked in and said, all y'all need to check the transfer portal because that's going to empty spots. And here's your quarterback already. But he's got to work for it. Like, no, he's not. You just said he's your quarterback. These are kids that have yeah. been busting their butts forever to get to where they're at. And you yeah. treat them like trash. I am not a fan of it at all. No, and me. anybody that tries to be an apologist for this, I'm sorry. This is bull crap, dude. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and I always like Dion. I always liked him as a player, commentator, yeah. whatever. But yeah, I, I ain't agree with it. My thing is, you can be full of yourself. Right. But don't be full of yourself. That's going to be detrimental to children. These are yeah, kids. Yeah, you're still. calling These out kids, kids in your presence. And Saban, I'm envious of Nick Saban like a mug. But I ain't never, and he knows that he's looked upon like a great. He yeah. never treated no kids like that. None, nah. none of the great coaches have ever done that. That pisses nah. me off. Yeah. Pisses me off. So in 2024, Brandon, now we got a 12-team playoff coming. Are you happy about that or no? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, because now there's no important bowl games. There are two, well, two of them, four, three of them, I bet. And I think it's going to make a lot of bowl games more important. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be, you know, last couple of weeks of the season, it's going to be very interesting. There's going to be a lot of teams in there, like 20, probably 24 teams still alive or something. A lot. Here's my problem with it because the six highest – ranked conference champs are automatically going to be there. All right? The uh, automatically. Highest, the automatic, automatic. And then the top four out of that get a bye. But here's the problem. So the top six ranked conference champions get there. Look at the divisions. We got the SEC. They're going to be there. Big 10, Big 12, ACC, Pac-12. That's five. You ain't really doing that because Look, the Sun Belt, which James Madison here in Harrisburg, Virginia, is here. The American, Conference USA, Mid-American, and Mount West. So there's five other conferences that you're telling me that the top one out of those gets to be in the we'll playoff. Get in. Because the other, six, the other six spots are for the, the, next, the next six ranked teams, which is going to include a Notre Dame paper champions because we'll be there independent, whatever, whatever. So all these other, these other five conferences, basically, you're saying you have to be the best out of the five, not not just your conference, out of five conferences to get a shot at the big boys. You like that? Yeah. No, I really don't because you know it's going to be three yeah. more SEC teams in there, probably. Yeah. And they, you know, a couple Big Tens. What about your boys? Since y'all don't, are y'all in a conference? No, it's independent. 
So y'all can't get a top. As long as we're right, we can't get the top six. But they can get the top the six. If you run the table, though, like it's about rankings now. It's about rankings after that. So you have to be. But like you said, the the six after the top six are going to be SEC. It might be all SEC, Big Ten or something. <laughs> uh, if you really yeah. think about it, like they should have other conferences. Yeah. I feel like all you're doing is is feeding the rich. The rich get richer. Yeah. It looks good on paper. It makes you think that everybody gets a shot. Yeah. It's fool's right. gold. It's just like everything else in the news. Anyway. Anyway, you ready to get to the elite, Brandon? Let's get let's to the it, NFL. Let's, let's get to the elite. This is what they want to hear. Because we got viewers talking about, I'm only listening to Brandon. I hope they listen to you last <laughs> week. Because yeah, this was your I worst week. Know. You were kicking me in Tommy's ass. But last week, you got five. Five of your bets right out of 14, and two mm-hmm. of your fantasy bets out of 14. So you had a down week. I had seven out of my, my bettings and five out of my fantasy. But Tommy kicked ass, and he was usually in the last place. He got eight out of 14 right, and then eight out of 14 right in fantasy, too. So big ups to Tommy. You know, you do have two cheap-ass waiver claim championships, <laughs> claim champion. I ain't going to never live that down, waiver claim guy. Now that we changed the rules, you ain't even making the playoffs. Sorry, Tommy. I can't <laughs> hate on you. You got problems with your plumbing and all that stuff going on, but whatever. <laughs> I'm still bitter. <laughs> Dude. All right, week 14, Brandon. Week 14. Week 14. Right. The Vikings, who who you said might be the second best team in the NFC. Yeah. They are underdogs. Yes, they are. The Lions. Yeah, it's an away game. We understand that. The Lions have been on fire. Yeah. Vikings plus two at Detroit. Is it two? Yeah. I got it at two. I'm I'm gonna take the Vikings. I'm gonna take it to win a game. You, it's gonna Vikings be close. Gonna I think it's, the game. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a test for them. But it's uh gonna be offense. Year, yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a shootout. It should be a shootout. Who's and I'm gonna just give it to him. I it ain't got to be Hawkinson. Hawkinson. Yo, Hawkinson has been a big name. And it's a revenge game. Revenge game. Like, revenge like uh, game. my man for the Eagles. Oh, wait a AJ, minute. You had the Vikings yeah. last week as your lock. I couldn't read my writing. I had my lock, as you had you know? as your lock. Yeah, you were the only one to get your lock. Yeah, I had the Vikings. Bucks. I had the Bucks and Tommy had the Ravens. I'm trying to think of who they played. The cover covered all the Jets. Like yeah, the yeah, Jets. Yeah, the, yeah, I think you were the yeah, only one that got your lock. So that gives you some yeah. bonus points to help you out. You know what, man? The Vikings and the Lions. I'm... It's a tough game to call. I'm going year. with the Lions, dude. I'm going yeah. with the Lions. I mean, it's a pick em game pretty and much. I and mean, my fantasy guy is going to be Swift because I need yeah. I think Swift I need him too. for a touchdown. I think he's going to catch some balls. I think Swift's going to be the guy. All right, next game. Next game. Jets getting 10 against the Bills. 10. 10. Everybody was riding Mike White. Should Mike White be the starter? Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> um, for the rest of the year? Yeah, I don't think you can go back to Zach Wilson. I'm not sure going Why to not? Flacco. He's the number what two, three pick in the draft. Man, he's not. He sucks. I think they're going to cut ties with him uh, this fast. It's what his third year. Third year. Nobody cut ties with two after the third year. But they wanted to. They wanted I to, mean, but now look. Shit. Now look. Um, yeah, because man, when Mike White is in there, he looks decent. Well, he looked decent last week. I mean, I mean he looks decent like Heineke looks decent. I don't hear yeah, it. I mean, it's better than... <laughs> yeah, he's doing better than Heineke, I think. See, that should show you how sucky Heineke is. And y'all keep loving no, him. No, I ain't say he's better than Heineke. I say he's better than Wilson. I mean... You don't think he's better than Heineke? I mean, uh, <gasps> I don't know. It's something I like about Heineke. Might be his attitude. You like the moxie. Like. You like the Baker yeah. Mayfield. You like that kind of shit. That's what it yeah. is. But I'm going to take the Bills minus 10. The Bills will cover? I think so. Who's the fantasy guy? I mean, uh, I'm going to go to the Josh Allen's going to have a big game. But I'm Who's gonna, he going to have? Yeah, How many Josh, touchdowns? 
Three total. Three touch total touchdowns. Yeah. Man, I'm gonna go with you, yo. I'm going with the Bills to cover because I think the Jets are frauds, just like the Vikings are frauds, even though that's why they picked yeah. the Vikings. But I'll tell you who I think the fantasy guy is gonna be. It's gonna be Josh Allen. <laughs> it's gonna be yeah, Allen. I was gonna say I don't know if he's gonna get three. I'm gonna go two TDs, 50 yards rushing. Yeah. Because I think he's tired of hearing us talk about Patrick Mahomes, Jalen Hurts, Joe Burrow, and all these other guys. And I think of yeah. I think he's actually getting healthier playing. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. He looks better each game to me, even though he hasn't thrown two touchdowns in four games, Brandon. Damn, that's crazy. But he's going to run. Crazy? He might run. And too. I'm playing Shaman in fantasy, and I got to win. He's got Stephon Diggs and Josh Allen. He'll throw eight touchdowns this week. I'm doing the brain. <laughs> All of I'm doing the brain and hands, bro. Jinx, baby. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. All right. So we got Tommy's Ravens and Keith Steelers. The, Ra- the Ravens are getting one. That's it? One. I got it two. I got it two. On the yeah, road. One or two. Who you got? I got the Steelers. Steelers covering that, right? Yeah. Who's the fantasy impact player? Who's the starter? Who's the star guy? Don't say John T. He might even play. Who? My boy John Johnson. No, I was gonna. I was either gonna go Pickens or Najee, but I think I'm gonna go Pickens. Pickens. Because he didn't get a catch last week, so. I like that. I'm going with the Steelers too. And I'm going with Fairmuth. Yeah, I hope you're right. And because the Ravens cannot stop tight ends, they cannot stop yeah. tight ends. Um, I think they'll stop Najee a little bit, and he might get a cheap one yard touchdown, pass interference, pickings, or whatever. Something like that can yeah. always. It's gonna be an ugly game. But um, the Steelers gonna win three. What is this? Four in a row? They gonna win? Is it three? Yeah, or four? four. I mean, they still have a shot at the playoffs. So it's unbelievable. And I don't. I can't believe it. Maybe Keith was right about Pickett. Who knows? I mean, it don't look good when he's out there, but I don't know. All right, those Eagles, they've given up seven points on the road to New York. We know about Barkley. We know about the wide receivers that ain't playing. I don't even know how they're winning at all with no wide receivers. I don't even know who their tight end is. Who their tight end? A rookie. A rookie uh, he's come came back. I can't who, who, who wide receivers? Slayton. Slayton, Slayton ain't name. playing, right? Oh, he's not. I heard he wasn't playing. I don't know. Galladay, they paid all this money for Galladay. He's still sitting on the bench. So, do the Giants have a chance to pull the upset? They're getting no. stuck. The Eagles are covered? Bar- yeah, yeah. They cover. If Barkley's not playing, the, I mean, which he's probably not from what I'm reading. They're saying he's probably not going to play? Probably not. So, who's going to be the sucks. impact player? We saw A.J. Brown last week. I'm going to go Devontae Smith with a big Devontae game. Devontae Smith. Is that because he played at Alabama? I mean, I heard a little bit, but I think I he's think so. good. I think so. I mean, it's not it hurts. I could have won with Jalen Hurts. Yeah, because he played at Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm going to go with you. I think it's the Eagles. I think they're going to cover it. I think the Giants are going to have their wake-up call, lose this week, lose to us, and then lose again. They might lose the rest of the way out. I think they already hit their high peak. That was their high moment. I love the coach. I think he's great. I yeah. wish we had him. I think he's a great mind, great motivator. Eagles, I think it's Miles Sanders. I think Sanders yeah, is a big game. I was game. thinking about him, yeah. I think it's going to be Miles Sanders' game, yo. Next game, the Browns with your boy, Rub Watson. <laughs> Five and a half is what I got on the road against the Bengals. Can the Bengals cover that? Or just watch it come through. Because you said this game, watch him, going to do something. I said he'll, I said he'll play better. Which, okay, uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, he can't play worse. Um, <laughs> he didn't do shit. He play. He looked awful. This is a game I think the Bengals win, but it could stay within that range of five, five and six a half? points. Because they've already beat the Bengals once this year. They did. They did. It's and weird. I think they beat them twice last year, right? Yeah, it's weird. The Browns beat the Bengals and the Bengals beat the Chiefs. It's so weird like that. I'm going to say the Bengals win, but they win by five. 
So you're taking the Browns. Browns in the points. Yeah. He's taking the Browns in the points. Mm, on the road. Who's the fantasy guy? I think the fantasy guy still is going to be – I think it's Joe Burrow, man. I think he has a big game, and he doesn't come through. What's he do? Um, I think he can get you 30 fantasy points. Huh? He can get you 30 fantasy points. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think – Oh, what did you three. say? I'm sorry. What did you say? I said 30 fantasy points he can get. 30 fantasy points? Oh, in my a, in a, God. No. Three touchdowns to Jamar Chase? I'm hoping not. No, hopefully not. Shit, I'm playing against him. Fuck. I, I, I was just throwing shit to Higgins. Yeah, I'm taking somebody. the Bengals to cover. I think the Bengals are on a roll. They're showing what they're about. I think the Bengals are right there. The Browns cannot stop the run. Joe Mixon saw what P. Ryan's been doing. He's like, yo, this is mm-hmm. my gig. I'm coming to get my contract extension. I think it's he's I playing think, for sure. I think it's Mixon. Yep, Mixon's cleared. Mixon's yeah. there. Mixon scores at least a TD, maybe one, maybe one receiving. Mixon's the guy. I think. I think it happens. I hope Burrow throws it because I need him in fantasy. Two teams that are disappointing. Nobody wants to win the division. I guess the Titans will. I guess Jaguars <laughs> plus three and a half on the road against the Titans. Did the Titans bounce back? Is Trevor Lawrence going to play? I think he plays, but I still think the Titans cover. Um, Titans they got to bounce. Ahead. Yeah, they got to bounce back from that last week. I mean, who who's I the know. Yeah. I don't know. Henry. Derrick Henry. The past yeah, few weeks, the Eagles shut that shit down last week. I, I'm gonna go with Derrick Henry though. Henry's Henry's the guy. Yeah, he scored a touchdown. Yeah, he's a, yeah, yeah, I mean, you can say almost every week except last week he scored. The past couple of weeks he ain't scored because <laughs> he fumbled. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but yeah, what, he man? should bounce back. I am gonna go. I'm gonna go with you. Titans are gonna cover, but my fantasy guy is gonna be Christian Kirk, who destroyed them the first time they played. The secondary for the he, Titans. He had a good game last week too. Yeah, yeah. Titans stop the run usually. They can't yeah. stop nothing in 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 the back end. Christian no, Kirk comes through. Take the Titans though. All right. I mean, the Cowboys been scoring a thousand points. That's why they're giving up seventeen and a half to Houston. Davis Mills is back though. Mills is back, Ooh, and he's hungry. No. They ain't got no damn receivers though. Nico Collins ain't playing. My boy, um, fucking, I can't even remember his goddamn name because he sucks. <laughs> you don't even want to play trying. He, uh, Brandon, oh, Brandon Cooks, Cooks. Brandon yeah. Cooks don't want to play. He wants to get traded one and crying all the time. I'm taking the team off Twitter. Huh, I'm tired of all that shit. Cowboys on a roll. The defense is legit. 17 and a half, Brandon. A lot of points, man. They've been we covering see, these, though. I know, because last week, we may see backups in at halftime. And then maybe Houston gets some garbage touchdowns and covers. We thought that last I, week. I know. I, I find, fuck Dallas covers. Dallas covers. He says Dallas covers 17 and a half. After watching Why Houston is that? lose to a team. I watched Houston lose to a team that didn't even score on offense. At all. And they lost by a lot. A lot. Because that defense got me like 35 points. Yes. I just don't. I can't pick them with any kind. So of who's the fantasy guy that's gonna make them cover seventeen and a half? It's gonna be on the ground, so I'm a, I'm gonna go with Tony Pollard. I Pollard, hope baby, this week. And he's been doing some big things for me in one of my leagues. I think the Cowboys are gonna win the game, it, just like you said, though. There might be some backups. <laughs> backups coming in. The Texans backups ain't coming in. Their starters gonna stay in because they, they are backups. <laughs> they, they, are gonna, backups. They, they are backups. I'm gonna take the Texans only because of the points. Yeah, it's fantasy, a game I wouldn't bet on. <laughs> yeah, I would not. Nah, nah, hell no. Nah. My fantasy impact is gonna be just like Tommy did last week. Dallas's defense. I think the Dallas defense will get two picks. They might get a pick six out of it. Fumbles, sacks. I could just see it. How did they even bench just... Mills for that other mile. Yeah, for Allen. But you forgot. And then go I... back to Mills. Allen, Allen started how many games for Washington a few years ago? We never looked good. They just yeah. kicked the owner out. 
He's doing bad shit. Please just get him out of the league, please. God, I'm so tired of him. So this is baffling to me because the Broncos can't score any touchdowns. They can't score at all. They can't do anything. The Chiefs are supposed to be a Super Bowl contender, maybe the MVP on the team. They're on the road, so what? They're giving up only nine points? Now, only nine? Doesn't that, that seem weird to you? Yeah, which is why I like Denver with nine. <laughs> You've been picking Denver every week to then lose it. I you know. need to stop picking Denver. <laughs> I want them to keep losing. No. Uh, you did pick the one with Denver? Huh? What did you just say? I said I hope they keep losing. That's why I keep picking them. Yeah, uh, fuck uh, yeah no shit. So you, you're only for the points, though. Chiefs are going to win the game, Yeah, right? yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I think they can win, like, by eight? 23, 23, 16, 23, 14. 16? Yeah, I don't know, Kenny. Can, can I the Broncos score 16 points, dude? I, I, I don't know. I just thought about that. <laughs> Damn. I got nine and a half, so you put it at nine. I would say I would take the points for the home team. That's tough. To, that's tough to be the team. I don't care who it is. In their own stadium, in your division. By nine and by nine points, that's tough to do. It's tough to do. It is tough to do, and it, it's still happening. Who's your fantasy? Hey, guy? <laughs> Who's your fantasy person? Um, Kelsey. Because he did shit last week. Yeah, like he's. He, did he I catch a know. ball? <laughs> he looked like my tight end. And two of my teams I need to win for the fantasy playoffs: Foster Monroe did nothing. Fuck you, Foster Monroe. Damn it. Said, but, Foster Child. Foster Monroe got me Foster Zero. Damn it. I'm taking the Chiefs to cover. I think they're going to blast them. Dem- <laughs> do they just bench Russell Wilson? I mean, they can't, dude. They can't bench him because they would act <clears> like they, they, that they did something wrong. They can't bench him. They got the well, I mean, like, somebody we're gonna else. Protect him. We don't want him to get hurt. So, we're I don't think him. they would do that. In our minds, we're like, yeah. But then we'd be like, yeah, they bench you because you suck, Russell. <laughs> they start putting points up, but he goes to the bench. And shit. No, I mean, My fantasy uh, guy for the Broncos, I'm not going to mess with PS2. Thank you for giving Tommy that autograph, PS2. That's awesome. Yeah. I think it's going to be Pacheco again. I think yeah. Pacheco's going to start taking over and be something, some insurance for – for a Does Melvin game. Gordon have a revenge game? In he's still he's Melvin Gordon's still in the practice squad. I thought they I thought they activated. They, they only didn't. signed him to get this shit information about the Broncos. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot he was playing. Yeah. He'll play for Washington next year because that's what. They <laughs> All right, the Panthers, and I love Steve Wilkes. He'll get another yeah. raw deal. He will. He'll be. He'll be somewhere else. He won't get no even notoriety for being a coach. But they're getting three and a half against the Seahawks, who are looking suspect the past few years. Or the past few weeks, I mean. But you yeah. said the 49ers were going to lose to the Seahawks to win that division. So does the Seahawks yeah. cover that three and a half? I think so. I think so. And it's – they. Are, I mean, they're, they're a good team, especially at home. Their I just don't think Sam sucks, D- though. Yeah, I know. But I, Sam Darnold, I just uh... – Sam Darnold throws it to – to to my boy that I always went on the bench. More. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't. Who's who's the fantasy guy then? Uh, <laughs> Gino. Walker's out. Uh, uh, um, not Gino. Uh, um, Lockett. I mean, I see a, a touchdown every weekend. Lockett has been doing good, good, man. Lockett has been doing so. Lockett's your guy. Yeah. You know what? Three and a half. It's just something about the Panthers. Seems like it should be more, right? Right. And it's something weird about the Panthers. I'm going, I'm going with the Panthers. And I think it's I think it's Foreman. I think Foreman runs all over them and runs the clock out. Gino gets nervous, throws a couple picks. I don't know. It's just something about Carolina. I don't know. They're weird like that. And I can see Sam Darnold being their starter next year. How weird is that? I can see it happening. All right, so Tom Brady and the Bucks. He's going to play his hometown team, the 49ers, with Purdy. We got Purdy versus Brady. Purdy. 49ers are a, are a legit team, but they got Purdy. The Bucks are a certain kind of team, but they got Brady. Brady's getting yeah. three and a half on the road. 
Can the 49ers cover? The over under is 37. Um Right. <laughs> I am going with Tampa Bay to cover and win the game. That's because you are scared to death of Tom Brady. That's why. Not me. I'm not anymore, but you I know what he can do. your heart so many years, you got to I know what he can do. <laughs> Who's going to be the fit? So you're doing it for the points. You think 49ers are going to win, though? No, I don't. Oh, you think the Bucs are going to win? I do. So let me ask you a question. Do the Bucs do win this game after mm-hmm. the comeback game that they had? Because the Saints, yeah, they suck. But that defense had defense Tom Brady's good. number for a few years now, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And for him yeah. to come back and win at prime time, and if you're saying that they're going to beat the 49ers, a team that people had a legitimate chance to get the Super Bowl, this <clears> might be the reason why Tom, you had the Bucs being a scary contender, right? Yeah. Yeah, I still have. You got picked them in preseason to win the Super Bowl. and I, It's still possible. You did. You picked the Bucs yeah. to beat the Colts. Yeah, I don't know. what I, I thought the Colts was something. That's not even his worst. Look, I picked Chargers to beat <laughs> the Rams. <laughs> Damn. But even worse than that, I'm not even worse, Brandon, because Mustachio Kevin picked Denver to beat the Rams. <laughs> so at least I ain't the worst. Oh, but anyway, who's the fantasy guy for the Bucks? Uh, Mike Evans needs to bounce back and do I something. I mean, where's he been going. at, dude? I don't know. I don't know. Where has he been? This is ridiculous. I'm taking the 49ers to cover. Three and I just think the 49ers with, with Brock Purdy? It's just something about the defense is legit, and they got so many weapons. I think it's going to be CMC doing big things, coming out the backfield. They got just too many weapons. I mean, yeah. I just, I just, I worry about that, but I don't care if they lose because that helps Washington. So, <laughs> all right, here we go. Big time game, Sunday night football. Dolphins coming off a game that was hyped up and they lost three and a half. They're giving away to a Chargers teams who I thought was going to be Super Bowl champions. Can your Dolphins give away those three and a half and win on the road? I think they can win, but I think they can win by three. And that's about it. I think it's going to be a game. So you go with the Chargers. I'm going to take the points at home with the team that's got so much talent on offense. So much talent. Eckler, Williams, Allen, and Herbert. It's tough to stop, especially with our defense. If I don't think they can stop. Play? Oh, well, he, the other dude's better anyway. Palmer. Palmer. Um, our defense can't stop anyone. I don't think they can stop us. Shootout. We, yeah, it's a shootout. I think we may win late. It may come down to a field goal. Okay, so, so if it was if it was two and a half, you take y'all. Yeah. But if this is three and a half, you taking them. Who's the fantasy fantasy guy for that? It could be so many I, people. I think, uh, I'm gonna go. It can be. I don't know which running back we're gonna use. It's a fucking <laughs> crapshoot. But I'm gonna go with the Jeff Wilson that game. I'm going to go with Wilson because he needs that bounce yes, back. Yes, Wilson. So give me Jeff Wilson Jr. I to get the end zone at least once. Yeah, I need Wilson too. I need Wilson too. But honestly, yo, I think the Dolphins are going to cover. I think it'll be pissed off about the 49er game because they didn't play their best. They started off well. Then some weird things started happening. It was weird stuff. A couple calls that went a certain way. The momentum kind of shifted. And then Tua got a little dinged up. It was just some weird yeah. stuff going on. Um, so <sighs> I'm going to take, take the Dolphins. And honestly, I think it's going to be a hill show. I think he's going to show off on Sunday Night Football, and I think he's going to say, I'm going to break the record. I'm going to show y'all. Pay attention to me breaking the record. I'm going with Tyreek Hill destroying the Chargers secondary. I think that's really what's going to happen. But I like the Jeff Wilson touchdown because I need that. All right, five minutes left. We got Monday Night Football game. I don't even know how this is the Monday Night Football game. We couldn't flex that nowhere and put like – We couldn't put like – Eagles, Giants, or Minnesota, Lions, Detroit, or somebody Bills, else. Jets, Bills, right? Jets, anybody. But we got the Patriots. I guess they're still fighting for a playoff spot. Cardinals are mediocrity over overload. Patriots minus one and a half. They're favored on the road against the Cardinals team with all that talent. It's mm-hmm. unbelievable to me that this is going on. Can the Cardinals write the ship and fight for that division or fight for something? I don't think so. I think the Patriots win. Patriots win? 
And the Patriots are a mediocre team, man, at best. And I think King, I think, what's his name? Kingsbury? Cliff Kingsbury. He needs, he needs to go, man. I mean, he's he, he couldn't win in college with elite talent. Yep. He had Patrick Mahomes and couldn't win in college. He had Tyler Murray in college and couldn't win. I mean, he Jalen just Hurts interviewed Will as Hill. He had Jalen Hurts and couldn't win. So, um, I don't know. I'm with you. And he just got money last year. Yeah. He got money. The GM got money. Kyler Murray just got his money. Patriots, you can't even name players on their team. The starting starting start wide receiver, their best one, Jacoby Myers, probably ain't going to play. So they're going to exactly. lean on old Miami dude, Devontae Parker, I guess, or hands guy, Nelson Aguilar, who can't catch it. Hopefully, I mean, like Hunter Henry. Going on. <laughs> but I'm going to take, take the Cardinals. I am going to take the Cardinals only because – I think D Hop is that fucking good. I'm gonna take yeah, the Cardinals, yeah. and it's gonna be the reason it's gonna be D Hop. And I know they say that Belichick stops their most important player. I think he's that damn good. I think D Hop is that good, just like Devontae Adams is that damn good. Like it don't matter who you put on him. I think that's what it is. I think. Yeah. And you're giving them one and a half points at home. Jesus. I mean, goodness gracious. I don't know, but um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. We got two and a half minutes left, Brandon. Big games. Your boys need this game. My yes, boys, we do. My boys going to need it next week. Oh, shit. I was like, who y'all play? And then that's probably, we, it's a late. We might lose on the bye. We, uh, we might lose on the bye. I it's hope so we lose our bye. owner. How about that? <laughs> How about that? I hope we lose our <laughs> owner. You might. I don't know. All right. So, uh, since since we already wrapped up all our stuff, we can we can freestyle now. Is Sasha Banks the best female wrestler? Is she? Is right, now, right now, I mean. I say her and Charlotte Flair. Like, where's Charlotte Flair? Uh, uh, yeah, it, she's coming. She's about to come back. Yeah, it's her, Charlotte. I've always liked Sasha Banks. I think Bel Air is good. Not Sasha Banks. Yeah. Sorry. I meant to say Bel Air, not Sasha Banks. Bel Air. That's why I said. Yeah, because I was Bel-Air. like, yeah, yeah, it is. Bel Air and, and Flair, right? And and Flair, yeah. That's it. That's it, to right? Me, yeah, yeah, that's it. Who's gonna beat the Usos for that belt? I don't see a tag team that can. What happened to the tag teams? I don't know. It's terrible. I there mean, used to be putting, so many. Who did wrestle tonight? Sheamus and Butch. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. What happened to the tag teams? I don't. I don't they're the only ones left. They're the only good ones left. Did you see the shit I just saw? I just saw the shit that Stephanie McMahon fell to lose her baby from the Macho Man. You heard about all that shit? Are you serious? No. That she was pregnant, and the McMahons all knew that she was pregnant by the Macho Man, and that's the reason why they wouldn't put him in the Hall of Fame for so long. Never put him in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, I you mean, know what I'm saying? Never because of that shit. Back. How old was the Macho Man when he was fucking Stephanie McMahon? He was an adult. She was a minor. I know that. That shit's crazy. You fucking some yeah. child when you got Miss Elizabeth? I mean, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Roman Reigns. You said loses to who? <sighs> Steph Rollins because he lost his belt, right? It's going to be so long from now, I think. But it has really? to be Rollins. Rollins. Cody Rhodes yeah. is about to come back. What's he going to do? Is he going to win the Rumble? Or is it going to Yes, be... I think he's going to win the Rumble and beat Roman Reigns. You know what I who I heard was going to win the rumble? I don't who? believe it is the the rock. I heard that too, and the rock was gonna beat Roman Reigns. Well, I want to see that. But I don't think he's gonna beat Reigns. I think he would put Reigns over us, you know. He's already put everybody over, Brandon. He's yeah. put everybody over. Hey, thank you, Brandon. I appreciate you saying that with me. Relas and Raw, four star episode 144, part two. We didn't give you our pickums, our fantasy studs. Listen to us and win. Brandon, appreciate you, baby. Alabama should be yes, in the sir. playoffs. See y'all next time. McAdoo's next Thursday live show. Let's go.